TV and movie fans, Cobra Kai fans, and Karate Kid fans, today is a big day. We had to do this spontaneous live stream to talk about the news happening. We had some images released, and we want to talk about them, and I want to hear what you have to say. And to have this conversation, we are very lucky to also have with us Drew, the Cobra Kai Kid. Drew, how are you today? Oh, no, I can't hear you. Hang on. No. In my mic during the intro because I didn't want it. To... <laughs> um, I said, I'm doing great, Ken. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. Yes, it's wonderful to see you again, Drew. My goodness, it's been it's been a while. It's always amazing to have you on. I know you have been covering this, you've been following this. It's a big day today, uh, a big Thursday. Mm. Uh, we have we have new images, and so um, one thing, as everyone's getting on here, we're going to be talking about these images, what they might mean for Cobra Kai season six. Can we tell anything from these or are they just kind of, you know, purposely chosen because they don't show anything? Um, but I don't know. Sometimes they tease us. Uh, there is one other bit of news we'll get to. Uh, those of us who are absolutely uh, fans of John, Josh and Hayden, they made a great show obliterated. Unfortunately, it looks like it's been canceled at Netflix. Uh, darn it, Netflix. They're known for doing this. And now, uh, Drew, I, I don't know. Oh, what do you think? What are your thoughts? You know, I mean, my thoughts. Wait, when, 1130 a.m. I just, that's when they posted this today? I, I guess so. Oh, yes. shoot. I just saw this like I saw this right before we went live. Like I literally just told you. Um, so. For me, this is very, very new. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I didn't even talk about it when I was live. I guess this was dur Oh, you know what? This was during my live. And then I kind of just like went off everything after. But, um, ah, oh, man, I'm I'm sad about this. Um, can I ask you, like, I, I don't know, like, 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 how, how does this like happen? Like, like when it says obliterated, canceled at Netflix, was there a plan to make a season two? Like, 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 why, why is this coming out? Like, how did it? Yeah. Well, you know, I don't know. I don't have any real behind the scenes knowledge about what the plans were for season two. My guess, though, from everything I've seen, including from interviews over on Peter's obliterated companion channel, um, is that there were there were fully in intending on doing a season two i think they had ideas for season two and i think it just got to the point where were the ratings big enough for netflix to renew it and i have a feeling that they would have been say last year mm -hmm. but now uh especially in this new year uh all the streamers are really pulling back um you know we've had news stories from netflix they uh something along the lines of i'd have to pull it up but they'd normally be green lighting 250 shows and they decided to whittle that down to 50 you know so i think they've just really been tightened up on on the series that they renew so unfortunately it looks like obliterated um didn't make it but the the good news is if you haven't seen it you can go on netflix and watch it now and it's like basically this you've seen it drew it's like this epic extended movie it's like this extended raunchy aughts comedy movie essentially it's it's amazing yeah i i love it and another question if you if you know i'm just i'm just i'm just curious about this like um with netflix shows you know do they usually do that like like after um a premiere of a season do they usually like shortly after because i mean it came out like uh about two months ago three months ago mm -hmm. Do they usually like like shortly after confirm this series is getting renewed or it's not like they 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 say either yes or no shortly after? I don't know. I I I think it kind of changes and it depends on the series. Um, I know that they uh, they're known for canceling series, and I I think that was a. 
fear for all you Cobra Kai fans watching now, we we are going to be getting to those pictures. Um, a fear is that, uh oh, Cobra Kai is going to Netflix. That means they're just going to cancel it. But thankfully, that did not happen because it is net, one of Netflix's top shows. Um, but but yeah, I guess they just uh, they looked at the numbers and they looked at their current lineup and maybe they just decided that. Uh, no, we're, we're not going to renew obliterated, which is interesting because that is different than information I heard even like a few weeks ago. Like I heard that it was going to be renewed. So they had like some kind of reversal. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, it's the great, it's the great streaming tightening. I think that's what's happening right now. You're going to see that across all streaming platforms, uh, fewer shows greenlit. So no. anyway, everyone go watch that on Netflix. Uh, we may have one last watch party uh, on my channel. So, uh, Drew, how excited are you today about all this Cobra Kai news? Ken, I, I'm excited. You know, I, I I saw, when did I see? I saw like late last night, something's dropping tomorrow. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. And then this morning, um, which it's funny you mentioned Thursday. I, I kind of wasn't thinking about that. Thursdays, they, Netflix likes Thursdays. I feel like there's been a trend with Thursdays. I don't know. Yeah, it's dropping like their favorite things. day. It's like dropping things on on Thursday. So like I guess like you know like it's a good hint for like all the Cobra Kai fans out there. There, right, right. Is it Thursday? Is that the day where they usually drop some stuff? It usually seems to be Thursday. I think you're right about that. And nine at nine a.m. nine a.m. Eastern time. Why did I? Did I? Yeah, I set my alarm for nine a.m. I knew it was going to be nine a.m. And no, wait, was it nine a.m.? No. It was. That sounds right. Yeah, yeah, you're tuned in, Drew. You're okay. tuned in. You, you know, I, I think I, I think I got it now. So, so yeah. I mean, it, it was an exciting morning. Um, I mean, what what was it like for you? Were you like, I mean, you're so you're in LA. You're three right. hours behind. So, if, if this right. at nine a.m. it's six a.m. for you. I'm assuming right. you woke up to this, or did you? Right. So when, when I got up and I just got back, I had my own obliterated party in Vegas uh, these past few days. But, um, so I just got up this morning. We got in last night. Uh, I got up this morning and, um, yes, I woke up to the new, I think I, it was right when I woke up that I saw this picture, but I've had, uh, work and meetings today. Uh, so now's really the first time I can, I can address this. Um, but, but yeah, I think Netflix is, they're all about Thursday mornings. So Maybe yeah. maybe we'll have to plan for more Thursday live streams. So you didn't really have too much time to look at the picture in depth? Not too much. I probably spent about two minutes furiously trying to scrutinize this. So I bet, I bet, Drew, that you have much deeper thoughts. And those of you in the comments probably have much deeper thoughts. Thank you for saying hi, Drew. I'm just going to quickly say yeah. hello to everyone. Hey, yeah. stage. Hi. Thanks for being a channel member. Terry Johnson, great to see you. Okay, Tom, so nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Sebastian, BMT, so you guys are watching from Drew's channel, Cobra Kai Kid. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Phoenix, Mario. Oh, great to see you, Mario. Fire Dave, Ren Empire. Uh, uh, Terry Johnson's uh, great. James Hayward. Hey, yeah, yeah. He was, on, he was on my live earlier. Oh, that's uh, great. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you, James. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, it's it. So you, you know all about this, James. James is James is a go like for popping onto these streams and for yeah. answering questions. He's awesome. But um, but yeah, for everybody out there watching on my channel, um, we're we're streaming on both channels. But if you want to watch this like after it's all said and done, it'll be on Ken's channel um till the end of time. So <laughs> you go you go check it out after. Yes, thank you for joining us today. And uh, everyone, if you are watching from my channel and you don't normally subscribe to Cobra Kai Kid or DrewTube, please do that. Subscribe. If you're watching this channel and you enjoy this, go ahead and hit subscribe and like and the notification bell. You won't regret it. Yes. Uh, so, uh, man, it's so great to see everyone. Um, yeah. So er everyone, I think, has a lot of ideas here. So uh, let's start by just bringing up the image in question here drew and uh well, let, let, let's just get into this mm -hmm. so I, I will um pull this up and i don't know if i can zoom in on this a little bit yeah there we go all right so drew this is the main image yeah and uh as everyone can see all right now now begins the forensic analysis <laughs> 
So, so Drew, you you you've got a keen eye. You've got a keen analytical eye. A Robbie to keen eye, eye, some might say. <laughs> That's perfect. That's great. <laughs> I love it. Um, I love it. That's great. Yeah. Um, what 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 do you see? So the first thing I noticed in the back behind Johnny mm-hmm. was Terry Silver. Oh. <gasps> Are you serious? <laughs> no, I'm oh, kidding. No. I just no, I was I just wanted to play a joke because I know you said you didn't really looked too much into it. So I was trying to yeah, that wasn't that, yeah, anyway. It I, worked. It worked. I could have played that better, but anyway. <laughs> um I'll stick with the keen joke. Um I mean before we break it down, I guess yeah. my initial thought is they grow up so fast. <laughs> they grow up so fast. Yeah, right? You know, it's like <laughs> It's like, the, just looking at this picture, this really looks like the end. Like, they all look like, you know, they're, I mean, they're all older. They've all, mm-hmm. like, I mean, they except all look. Except William Zapka. Except William Zapka and Ralph Mach and Eugene <laughs> and all of them. They're all great. Right. But, you know, I mean, they, you know, they all look great. But, like, you know, I mean, I mean, look at Griffin, Anthony. Mm. I mean. Dude, dude, dude's ready for battle. Miguel, Miguel, like, I mean, just look at the posture. Even just the yep. postures. It's like, this is it. This is it. This is the final battle. This is the final showdown. And I'm just looking at this and I'm like, man, this is beautiful. This is sweet. This is sad. It's just everything. And I mean, we can break it down, but I think just like, it's just so nice that we get it one more season with these with these group of guys and girls love the, love these people so much they're so fun to watch yeah i totally agree i love all your thoughts drew and i don't know if you feel this way but the strike was a bad deal it delayed production for all of hollywood including cobra kai but i don't know there's something i feel really good about the fact that i don't know there's that extra time maybe that Um, now everything's firing on all cylinders, like John, Josh and Hayden, uh, and all the writers are fully part of this now. It's just, I don't know. It feels, it feels like this is coming out the right way. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, I mean, I think there were silver linings to the strike because yeah, uh, silver, Terry silver linings. We got to keep going with this, you know, Mm -hmm. (laughs) thinking, (laughs) keen thoughts terry silver linings um <laughs> yep. so um uh, i think you even said chosen earlier in the stream you said like, yes yeah i should have chosen this anyway um yeah I, I think they had more time with this um you know i mean this is this is important this is the final season and you know for sure it, it's like you know the the writers have said like you know with previous seasons you know we've had certain ideas that didn't work out for this season but maybe we could do in the next season or maybe we'll save that there's no more saving it you know there's no more like second chances this is it so it's like i'm sure you know like in those however many however many months of the strike you know before they got back to filming like how many many months was it Uh, gosh what was it like eight months jeez like like, I mean, they had to have thought of so many things that they didn't think of before. You know, between right. all of them, it, it, like, you're always drawing new inspiration. So, yeah, I think it ultimately did work out for the better. I mean, I guess, like, we won't know until, like, we hear it from them. That'll be an interesting conversation, I feel like. And I hope uh, they open up about that when it's all said and done about, like, like what the experience was like. Um you yes. know, I know if you or I ever talk to them, uh, that'll be something we might ask. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. absolutely. I know the story of season six is probably epic, um, but but right. I, I think this whole season is going to turn out to be epic and uh, crazy animal lady. This is a common question. Uh, when does season six come out? I can't wait. Drew, what everyone I'm sure has this question. Do we know the answer? Well, I know who does know. I know Ken knows when season six is going to come out. So I'm going to turn it over to Ken. <laughs> Ken, you know the answer. I, when does season six come out, Ken? I I I don't know anything for sure. But guys, look, 
it's 20, <laughs> 2024, right? We're 40 years out from uh, the original Karate Kid movie, which came out in 1984. We have a new Karate Kid movie coming out this year. Mm -hmm. uh, some are excited about it. Some aren't. Uh, that is totally separate from Cobra Kai. Uh, and that is coming out right now, December 13th this year. Um, I think we're going to see season six come out somewhere in that window. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll see, uh, it's, it's really Netflix's call at the end of the day, whenever they think is the best time for them to put out season six. But, uh, that's a guess. I don't know for sure, but maybe, maybe that, that, is that a fair expectation, Drew? I would say so. I've always said, I think, uh, the goal is to get season six out before the movie mm. just so, uh, there's no confusion, you know, keep it separate. <laughs> no confusion. No. <laughs> I mean, I any more confusion than there already is. But, um, but yeah, I also, I, I, I have to point this out before I forget. I, mm -hmm. I, I mean, it, it could be the, the most little thing ever, but it's just something I noticed now. I didn't notice it before. Uh, yes. In the back, there's no punching bag. You're right. There is no punching bag. I mean, that could, I mean, maybe they're just like, I don't, I don't know. Do they ever yeah. take down the punching bag or is it always up there? Like that was just something I, I mean, I know there's so much to, to talk about here. That was just something right. I didn't notice before that. I just, I don't know. I, do you want to get into it? I, 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 th I think we just need to, I think we do need to get into it. And if you want to start with the punching bag, we can, because uh, we, we can talk about the theories of exactly what's going on here why people are just like so enraptured by someone off camera uh in, in the in miyagi do right now and let's start with the punching bag it's missing yeah i don't think i don't think what they're looking at matters i think it just matters why the punching bag's not there i agree i <laughs> like, agree everyone's asking where's hawk and dimitri i don't think that matters i think we just need to know why is there no punching bag right well now in, in order to answer that question drew you know this is a big full circle of the entire karate kid franchise um which Karate Kid movie featured punching bags, or it could be multiple movies. Karate I Kid three, I, right? I think of two right off the bat. Karate Kid three. One, the Karate Kid three. Terry Silver, right when he's teaching the Quicksilver method, used yeah. the punching bag quite a bit, and then next Karate Kid. Mm. Miyagi had a whole lesson with uh, Julie Pierce. Uh, and a punching bag and like basically dodging uh, unseen thing. Well, it wasn't necessarily a punching bag, but you know, there's that hanging bag basically dodging. So I, a, a, a completely unfounded theory of mine could be that that punch, punching bag was relocated to a different, a different darker place where you couldn't see the punching bag. And, and that's, that's what's going on. They're training with, with a punching bag in a new location. That's my completely unfounded theory, Drew. I'll throw it back to you. Oh, no, I love that. I love that. Or maybe um, they're getting multiple punching bags or multiple bags, just like Julie Pierce did, because she's coming back to implement that training exercise. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Well, now that we've gotten the punching bag <laughs> dilemma solved, <Okay>. um, <laughs> um, what, what intrigues you the most? What is what is the biggest thing that catches your eye here, Drew? Uh, the biggest thing for me is Tori being in this dojo. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. is it a shocker? No. Is it like, you know, it, it, but it's one thing to actually see come to life. Um, you know, every season we've had, you know, more and more people join the Miyagi-Do dojo. At the end of season three, it was Hawk and Miguel. Um, and then like season four... I guess like, you know, like Hawk, yeah, Hawk, Miguel, we're still like, I mean, it was end of season three, season four, then season five, Robbie was the big one coming back to Miyagi-Do or Miyagi-Fang. Uh, so now Tori's the big one. Um, mm -hmm. And obviously you have Sam here as well. They're not standing next to each other, but um, I mean, they're obviously on good terms. So um I mean, there's so, there, there's a couple other things, but I think the biggest thing for me was seeing Tori here was just pretty, pretty freaking exciting. How about how about you? That is really exciting. And the other thing uh, some people on Twitter uh, on my feed noticed, obviously, is that uh, her hand is still injured. Yeah. 
So definitely not a huge time jump, you know, from the events of season five. Her her hand is still bandaged up. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. Uh, yeah, you see uh, she's standing next to Robbie, right? They're they're all together. And then Sam's standing next to Miguel. Isn't that sweet? So it's so kind of like the couples. Yeah. yeah, the couples are together. And then like Daniel and Johnny. You, the, like Daniel and Johnny. <laughs> they're, 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 <laughs> exactly. Chosen exactly. by himself. Like. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor chosen. Uh, and uh, so, you know, and then we have, right. So the main characters of the series some are not here some are not in this picture mm -hmm. and the, before we go on the other thing i want to point out is that this is someone's taking this from like this isn't a screenshot of of from the show because mm -hmm. we can see the camera in frame on the left hand side yeah so this is someone standing back taking pic taking a picture of the scene um so take that for and, and i know there's also on the right side of the frame you can see like there's something like a hand or an arm or possibly something on the very right edge of the frame um and i would suggest that we don't know if that's a person or that could be a crew or an object behind the scenes it doesn't necessarily have to be uh in the shot in the intended scene yeah um, that, do you see that yeah something else i just noticed and i could be totally wrong i'm gonna throw it out there okay on the on the in the ground the the shadows could that be a yeah. boom, could that be a boom pole or yep something? could be what do you yep, think does it, it kind of look like one uh is yeah it, like uh it, yeah that one kind of coming straight out it does it like um two? i don't know there's like a couple lines crossing it's you're right and then there's just like a kind of a crisscross pattern i don't know if i see like the shadow of a whole person holding the boom pole but maybe um it, it but that that actually that could be what it is um mm. yeah so guys yeah throw in the comments let us know what you think like are there more clues from behind the scenes of what's going on here um but uh so obviously the other thing drew that people are gonna say is that there are characters who are not here you know that we know well that you know through the seasons that are not here yeah. um so I do you mind uh, maybe expounding upon that a little bit? Yeah. So some of the characters uh, that are not here that people have been mentioning are Hawk, Dimitri, or at least not. We shouldn't say not here, but not in this shot, which, as Ken mm -hmm. said, this is a behind the scenes shot. So like someone could have just taken it and they weren't able to fit in. You know, Hawk and Dimitri. And um, so there's Hawk, Dimitri. We could say Devin. And we could say Kenny. Um, Hawk and Dimitri are already in this dojo. So um, those two are, it's, there's the bigger question. But um, there is also a question, is Devin and Kenny here? You know, because we got Tori here, because we have the ex-Cobra Kai students. Mm -hmm. um, and I um, I refer back to, season five some of the um the promo shots that were released where um do you remember that shot where it was from um episode seven where they were training at the miyagi -Do dojo with chosen and it was like the picture of them bowing right yes and miguel yes. wasn't there and it was everybody but miguel and you know a lot of people were like where's miguel and even i was like like is this like is he in mexico at this time like what like or is he off with johnny i thought maybe he was like doing something with johnny he was in that scene he just wasn't in that photo um that right. photo and that photo wasn't even like a screen grab i don't think from the actual episode it was like a separate thing it was same 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 scene but it wasn't like an actual shot from the show so um you know it could be the same thing here where like Hawk and Dimitri are big parts of this scene. They're here. They're just not in this particular shot. They just can't be seen. So, right. Yeah, I I think that's a that's an excellent point. Just because they're not in the shot doesn't mean they're not in the scene. Um, and it brings up this idea that everyone is kind of lined up in formation. It does look like they are listening intently to someone. And so the question might be who would they be listening to? Yeah. And 
could it be, could they be listening to Hawk? Could they be listening to Dimitri? Um, can we tell at all what, what is going on or what is happening overall in this scene, Drew? So I, I, I actually had a theory and I don't know if it's right, but that's why they call it theories, you know? Right. You know, it's, it's all, it's all fun and games. Um, at first I thought, okay, so, okay. So they're obviously looking like, if you look at the, the far right, you have like the blue with the, with the skin, like whatever, whatever that is. At first I thought right. it was like a bent leg, but right. then, but now I'm thinking, oh wait, actually, oh no, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait. At first, at first I thought it was a bent leg. Then I thought it was a bent arm like that. Now I'm right. thinking it's a knuckle. Knuckle. Yeah, that that's kind of what I thought. Is that what like, you got? I got, I got like a the leg, cuff, the sleeve cuff, and then the kind of the hand, the knuckle. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, at first, at first with the with the yes, the sleeve cuff. At first, it kind of looked like like a female. A like, picture that's a picture that was a shirt. I thought it was like I I thought it was maybe it could be Amanda with like with like like you know it, if it, if it's like a like a blouse kind of shirt. But 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 now it it looks like a nut. You could see like veins. So I. I think it is an uncle, right? That's that's my guess. That that's yeah. the closest of what I can make it out to look like. Okay, and I mean, like, it looks like so. If it's like a sleeve cuff, it's probably like a jacket of some sort. Mm -hmm. I feel like Dimitri would wear that. Dimitri wears blue, you know, Miyagi Do. Yep, kind of like and he's they, they, taller. He's taller. Oh, uh, the, and it looks like that knuckles a higher height than, you know, it looks like the knuckles high off the ground wait a second oh that wait they're standing on the board is that what you did you did you know that already I, on I, the I, board like where where it was like you know do you know that like the remember at the end of season three when mm -hmm. hawk and dimitri were standing on the board oh like race off the ground yeah i think that's where they're standing right now yeah yeah that's a great point just like in season three, they might be up there. And I heard some theories, so I don't want to take credit for this, but I heard some theories that this is where they're coming up with the the dojo name, which I think is a really interesting theory. Yeah, it is interesting. And, you know, if they are standing up there and everyone's looking at them, could you say that I don't know what the rules are for the Sakai Taikai or whatever, but could they be, say, team captains, youth senseis, kind of like the leads for their team like are are they be are, do they have a leadership role in the team going to the sakai takai and are is that them standing there if it is i'm really amazed because let's just say it is hawk and dimitri look mm -hmm. at how everybody's watching them even johnny like mm -hmm. johnny actually looks like he's like listening and daniel and chosen and tour like everybody looks like you know anthony sam miguel they're all hands behind the back like you know like attention stance it's like it doesn't look like dimitri and hawk are cracking jokes it's like this is business like we know what we're doing um or whoever whoever's up there is is i don't even like chosen like you know like you're doing something right when you got chosen's respect like that right right yeah exactly i mean which uh, th that's that's an amazing thought and i would think that would be amazing if hawk and dimitri commanded that kind of respect but uh other commenters here drew bring up that uh like it's Jaden. julie pierce wore a blue mm. jacket <laughs> <laughs> and don't you think that someone like it you know julie pierce rumored rumored to be a strong possibility for season six we don't know for sure yet but um that would be someone who would command a lot of respect here at the Miyagi's house at Miyagi Do, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. Now I'm trying to think. Like Rob, I don't know. Maybe this is reading into too much. Like Rob, like like you know, Sam, Miguel, Anthony, you know, all hands behind their back. Like Robbie, kind of hands in his pocket. Mm -hmm. Like, is it because? <laughs> He's kind of more chill. I don't know. He's more chill about it. Yeah. So like if it is Julie, like where I'm going with that, like let's just say it is Julie. Uh, Anthony, Sam, 
they 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 know who this woman is because of Daniel. Chosen respects her. Maybe Robbie doesn't really know that much, so he's kind of just like, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I could be, you know, we're just making stuff. You know, you're right. Like, if you look at Anthony and Sam, they're on the left. Don't they look very happy and that they are alert? It's almost like they really know who's speaking. Yeah. And um, and then Daniel looks almost kind of, I don't know, some kind of interesting emotion going on there, uh, you know, standing there like he's it's almost like he's personally affected by something that they're saying. And, um, you know, obviously, Miguel has tons of respect and chosen looks very peaceful and like he's absorbing mm. what's going on. I don't know. Could it be Julie Pierce? I love how much we're breaking this down because when I was looking at this, I wasn't I wasn't going this this deep, <laughs> but 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 you can really analyze body language like like, you know what? Let's just go for it. Like like Daniel, back to what you said about Daniel. Yeah. Let's compare Daniel and Chosen. Chosen right. it, Chosen has two feet by his side, hands, hands to himself. So he's sitting back or standing back listening. Daniel, you know, the way his hands are, the way his feet are kind of staggered and his face and his body kind of tilted. He kind of looks like he's he wants to jump in and say something or kind of get mm -hmm. in there or he he's like not really as laid back to the situation maybe as everyone else is. Yes. Yep. I I agree with that. Yeah, he's very invested in what's what's being said right now. And in a way where maybe you wouldn't expect him to be that way with Hawk and Dimitri, unless something big happened with them, you know, unless they're like reporting something happening or whatever. But I don't know. I'm 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 wondering if there's like a 50% chance that Julie Pierce is in this scene. You know, this this may be uh like a theme of season six where it's the sensei's kind of taking, you know, not taking a step back, but kind of like if this is the the students, if this is like a Hawk and Dimitri, it, it's like, you know, to have Daniel, Johnny and Chosen step back and listen to them kind of come up with this, like just like they mm -hmm. came up with the sparring deck. Like, I feel like it's a good, it could be a good thing passing like, like, you know, this is the time to pass on the torch. Yeah, um, that's a really good point. This is the final season. This is it. And, you know, there these like Karate Kid is about growing up and um becoming an adult and like, you know, like, you know, taking ownership, responsibility. Like there's so many different themes and um you know, nerdy Dimitri and Eli, binary brothers, in the beginning of season one, like just sitting at the cafeteria, just like we don't want to talk to anybody. Like now they're freaking standing in front of the whole dojo, talking to like everybody, even the senseis who freaking Johnny kicked Dimitri's ass in season one. Um, now Dimitri's up there saying, This is what we're gonna do. This is the dojo name, like or, or like not like in a bossy way, but in a leadership role. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, I I love that. I think that's fantastic. We we've got a we've got a comment here. How do you all know it's not just the director in front of them? Um, we don't. I guess it could be. Um, it could be someone from the crew. But like you said, Drew, it is interesting that that would be the place where you have the raised platform where they could be standing. Yeah. Um. I I I'd just like to address that. I I don't think at all it's the, the director. Because they're, they look like they're acting. They look like they're in character. You know, I don't, I don't think like all of them would be like standing like that. I don't know. I don't know. There's something about this. Even like yeah, having the person on the, the, the right of the screen. I don't know. It just, it doesn't look like they would all be so serious if it was a director. I don't, I don't know. Or maybe but like, like the way Ralph's standing, like, I, I don't know. Maybe he'd get a little more comfortable. Like, you know, maybe they'd be a little more laid back if it was just like John, Josh, or Hayden talking to them. But they're so like, you know, <laughs> just sort of like, I don't think that's the vibe on set. Um, so th that's why I'm going to say no. But um, I wanted to point something else, something else out to you. And I'm just okay. noticing all these things now. I mean, <laughs> and you know what? It could be nothing, but I think you and I know as, as like people who are into film, you know, everything on screen 
is there and like you gotta like you know there should be a reason for it so mm-hmm. what are your thoughts on like if you look at the left side anthony yeah. sam miguel johnny maybe kind oh johnny they're in the light daniel right. Daniel is kind of half in chosen Robbie Tori are like kind of like in the in the dark. Mm. I don't know. What do you think about that? Yeah, that's really fascinating. Um, I love how you brought that up because you're right. There would be a lot of planning in this uh, scene. Uh, the blocking where people are standing it would be very important. And the cinematographer is going to sp- pay special attention to um, the light on every single character. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's a case where they have like a tree and they can't avoid it and they're just going to even it out a bit. Like when they go to color grade it. Uh, but that's interesting. Yeah. There might be some storytelling there. Maybe, maybe there's some, some darkness befalling Daniel, you know, um, maybe, uh, yeah, I, I really like how you're thinking. I don't, it's impossible to know for sure, but, uh, it's amazing to think about, I think. Yeah, just it's just something I, I just noticed, like a cool little observation. Um, but I think I think like for this, uh, I don't know, for what we know, it kind of makes sense to have like, you know, the Sam Miguel in the light while Tori right as of right now is more in the dark because we don't really mm-hmm. know her intentions, uh, you know, joining this new dojo coming off of an evil Cobra Kai. So I don't know. It could be it could be that too. Who knows? Indeed, we have BM saying, I think it's either Julie Pierce reading a letter Miyagi wrote to her or Kumiko. Oh, Chosen would chosen would not be that chill if it was Kumiko. <laughs> chosen <laughs> would be like, Kumiko! <laughs> I, I like this one. They could be talking to Drew or Ken. Th- thank you, MVP of YouTube. Yeah, you know, really, we're not really. we're not allowed to say anything. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, Ken and I actually you know what it is us but we we just wanted to do a live stream to completely mislead you guys and it didn't work didn't work. damn it that, that's drew's knuckle right that's, that, that's my that's my <laughs> that's my that's my blue sleeve <laughs> oh, oh that's yeah. great we do have a super chat thank you um abdurrahman uh, abdurrahman i hope i'm pronouncing that right uh are we going to see mike barnes in final season six thank you so much for the super chat and thank you for the comment um i drew i i mean i think i think probably like i i'd be surprised if they just let his character go away after the end of season five i i would think probably i don't know what what do you think i think sean kanan is a capable martial artist and um i mean he's been doing martial arts his whole life and i mean if you guys obviously we we've seen him in karate kid 3 we saw him you know his martial arts in season five i think he's got some some more fight left in him and then we got to see him back (laughs) i think so yeah we just we just got a little bit of the bad bad boy of karate didn't we there's there's more to be seen i think you ruined my life for her so <laughs> <laughs> indeed well, and, and drew let, let me hop over because people have been saying this in the chat uh, i've noticed that cholo did post a picture <laughs> uh, his own picture and uh it's so it's great it's there's hawk everyone and uh there's hawk's hawk <laughs> and uh he, he looks pretty cool he looks so cool and like just content like and everyone else i don't know like uh ralph macho and william zabka they look like really cold like the crew members <laughs> look like oh it's a cold day and then like you know hawks just like oh yeah <laughs> what, what 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 do you think dude this is this is pretty cool and it's it, it's 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 i mean this is the magic the behind the scenes of of you know the shooting of cobra kai you know <laughs> This is this is the valley, <laughs> right? <laughs> this is the valley, and uh, you got Ralph and a Canada goose. <laughs> you got uh, Zapka, who uh, I don't know, maybe he's like trying to fix his zipper or something. I don't know, <laughs> but um, there's 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 two there's two big things from this. Um, the first is the hawk hair, which we could talk about, and then the second is uh. You know, Hawk, Hawk, we can see he's wearing his white gi. Daniel is wearing his white gi. We've seen that before. But uh, who else is wearing a white gi? Oh, oh Mr. Mr. Billy Zabka. Did you notice that? 
Just, yeah, just just now. That's incredible. That's huge, Drew. Quiz. I have a quiz for you. Uh, uh, okay. This is a tough one, and I uh, uh. and I I could be I could be wrong too. So I don't want to like say like I'm I'm I know for sure, but like I was trying to think. The last time we saw Johnny Lawrence in a white karate gi wasn't in Karate Kid. It was in Cobra Kai. I know for sure. When in Cobra Kai did he wear a white karate gi? Oh my gosh. A white one. I'm trying. Oh my gosh. I, it's going to be like so obvious. It's it's not. It's it's a little it's a little tricky. Is it during a dream sequence? Which one? Is it the one where he's uh, fantasizing about Carmen? Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Dies. 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 But it's kind of interesting though, like that. Like that's the only time we saw, and I think he was like in a, like a white sleeveless gi. You know. Um. I mean, it was a dream, but like you know, now like we like that's gonna be pretty cool to see that. That is which. I mean, I guess that makes sense. If they're all on the same team and they're going to compete, they would all wear the same gi, right? Yeah, that kind of, I, I got to be honest, that kind of bugged me about season five. I was like, why are they still wearing different gis? Like, mm -hmm. like, 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 why? I, I, I just didn't understand. I like, because also, like, you're supposed to, like, you would think they'd try to send a message to Silver. You know, because if, right. if I if I was silver and I saw that, it's like you guys, you guys are divided. You don't you're not together. Like, mm -hmm. so I, I was a little like kind of like, what the heck on that sense? Um, I'm glad to see them finally putting this like gee crap of red and white and whatever, like behind, like just all have one color, be united. But it's interesting, though. I mean, these could just be training geese. I don't want these to be, I don't want them to just do white for the Sekai Taikai. I think mm -hmm. they should do some sort of different thing because that's the whole thing is um, we've progressed beyond just Miyagi Do, beyond just Eagle Fang or Cobra Kai. So I'm hoping these are just training geese um, because, like, I mean, we see the white, like, we see Daniel, that's Miyagi Do, you know? Right, right. Yeah, that, that's a great point. And I, I think you're right. I think there will be something else. There'll, there'll be a, a nice surprise, I think. Um, yeah. So that's, so is there anything else we could tell from this photo? What do you think or about that, Hawk's that's, hair? It's kind of awesome. I love it. <laughs> it's kind of great. It, I mean, it looks absolutely uh, fearsome. I would not want to go up against that in a tournament, <laughs> that's for sure, or in real life. No, um, you get a paper cut or something if you touch that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Uh, but yeah, that, that looks absolutely fantastic. Now, I am going to flip back, and if something comes up, we guys, we can go back to that. I'm going to flip back to this picture. We've got another comment, another super chat from BM saying, could crease, could it be crease they're standing at attention to in this photo? So BM suggesting that maybe crease could be there and they're standing at attention to him. And I want to thank you so much, BM, for your super chat. It means so much. Um, what do you think, Drew? Is it possible that Crease has escaped prison, uh, is going to go through a major redemption arc, and this is the fateful day where we actually have both Johnny and Daniel uh standing, listening in rapt attention to Crease, who's been welcomed to the Miyagi Do grounds. Oh, I, I love that. I I would want that. I, I I don't think so, only because we know they're like early into filming. They, I think they're like on episode three or something, um, which I I do want to ask you about that. We could go back to that after. Just remind me, uh, like we sure. can talk about when the episode, like you know, when mm -hmm. it takes place. But um, no, I don't, I don't, I don't think this is Crease. But you know, ever since Crease got arrested in season four, I said I really want to see Crease team up with these guys. I just like, I just think you need to see it. Um, I think, I think, you know, crease has, you know, he's been the big bad and I know he's probably going to be bad again, but like, 
I just want I want to see him and Johnny and him and Daniel. I don't know. Like the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Or no, the enemy of your the enemy. Yeah, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yeah, yeah. Right. So it's like get get freaking Terry Silver out of jail, you know. <laughs> like, like Crease goes to Daniel and Johnny's like, listen, I hate his guts, you hate his guts. Let's do this thing. That's what I want to see. And I, yeah, I don't know. You know, outside shot here. I know there's a lot of ground to cover, but what if uh, you have a new fearsome big bad, perhaps someone like Kim Dae-un, who has decided to take Cobra Kai and what was left of Cobra Kai and go in her own direction and really take control? Uh, Could you see a moment where both Terry Silver and John Kreese and everyone here in this sort of limited, uneasy alliance has to join forces to defeat uh, Kim Daun uh, from destroying both Miyagi-Do and Cobra Kai and taking over the world? <laughs> um, I think Terry might be a bit of a long shot. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I, I do. And I, I know you feel the same, Ken. I, right. You know, I don't want Terry to just come in in the last like episode and just be like, I'm back. And then he just gets defeated again. You know, right. Right. Um, it, it, it's like if, if you guys ever saw, um, the Mandalorian, you know, the Disney plus Mandalorian, um, they had three seasons and I'm, I mean, spoiler or like they had three seasons mm-hmm. and you had Moff Gideon, who was the big bad guy who showed up in the last two, like he pretty much showed up in the last two episodes of each season. So season one showed up in the last two season two, we're waiting for him showed up in the last two season three showed up in the last two. And Terry silver, I just don't want them to, I mean, there's only 10 episodes. And this is a character who needs to like season five, season four, he was getting explored. And I don't want them to like do like what they did with like I I I love Crease's story in season five, but I don't want them to repeat it where like you know, they they said the whole thing with Crease was they wanted to keep him in jail for five episodes, or they didn't want to reveal him in the first five episodes. So then when he came back, it was kind of like a oh, here we go. And mm-hmm. that was fine for what it was, but don't do that with Terry because we've already seen that. Now this is the final season. I, I mean, what do you think? As a, as, a, as a Terry, I know this is kind of like going off on a side tangent, but like as a as a right. Terry Silver, I mean, Ken, you have a cup that says "Save Silver." Save Silver, guys, like, got to save Silver. <laughs> you 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 must you must kind of feel that way, right? <laughs> yeah, I do. I I really hope. And uh, Hayden said this that he's very focused on Terry not going into oblivion, you know? So, so that's good. We don't know quite what's going to happen, but like, uh, I think there's a lot of room for Terry silver. I think where Terry thrives as well as kind of in the shadows. So I don't mind him being this sort of lurking presence and you don't know quite what he's up to. Um, but you know, I, I hope he's not in prison for five episodes or whatever. Like, I think he should be released from jail promptly, given the fact that he's a billionaire and he basically owns the police. And, you know, um, but I, I have a feeling he probably has a plan B and a plan C. And uh, if he's not going to like it, if Kim Daun <laughs> takes over um, Cobra Kai. You know, if that's her goal, if that's what's going to happen, it looks like she was very dissatisfied with him towards the end of season five. Um, And so I think he's going to fiercely protect what's his. uh, And I I think he's going to be probably very smart about it. So so you're right. I I hope I hope the character continues to get explored. Um, But, you know, people talk about redemption, say like redemption for Crease or redemption for Terry Silver. I don't know necessarily think there has to be a redemption, but there might be a point at which John Kreese's goals come into alignment with, uh, you know, Johnny's goals or Daniel's goals. Um, and maybe it's just a brief understanding, but maybe they would join forces on one particular mission. Who knows? Uh, but that doesn't mean that Chris is all of a sudden a good guy, or that doesn't mean Terry Silver would be a good guy. It would just mean that their interests are aligned. 
I don't yeah. know, what do you think? I would love to, you know, see. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I would love to see Terry Crease like a guy kind of working. Like, I would love to see them all working together. Like, those are my favorite moments in like shows and movies when like the unexpected. I mean, even in Cobra Kai, like, you know, you have freaking chosen Daniel Johnny working together. It's like when you have those unexpected pairings teaming up, it's always like it's just fun to watch. It's like right. who would have ever thought this would happen? Right. Oh, I totally agree. And um, and guys, everyone watching right now, we really we can't stay on too much longer. We're going to be leaving in a few minutes. But I want to get back to this question with Drew before we go about this photo. Can we tell what? Part of the season this comes from i know that you're indicating that they might be shooting these sequentially and we might mm -hmm. be kind of in the first part of the season uh but could this be maybe if certain actor schedules are aligning a certain way could this be a scene from a later episode or do you think this is uh a scene from early in the season another question is was this filmed pre-strike or post-strike oh Right. That's a really that's a really good question. Well, okay, so this tweet came from uh John, John Hurwitz, and he's like back home. Oh, okay. So you would think now it was also tweeted out by Sony. So the impression might be that that it was taken recently, like this is now. That's a good right? point. Yeah. But unless I mean they've been kind of trying to throw us off the scent. <laughs> sometimes though yeah yeah no that, that's a good point um i i did want to talk to you before before we um I, I know you said we're gonna wrap soon but um can we talk about some of the people in the background of this yeah. photo um i mean who 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 can you recognize from from the back because i mean i think there's some interesting people we got back there it's not uh, just Tori who moved over, right? Yeah. It, you know, it's really interesting. We've got, is that little red on the left? Yeah. Um, which is fascinating. Um, I, you know, something you bring up a good point. How many, how many of these are ex Cobra Kai? I, I can't tell you all of them. Now I, I, Edwin for sure. You see Edwin behind Sam. Yep. Which I mean, like, guy's been in Cobra Kai since season one, so the fact right. that he's coming here is like nuts. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Phoebe French, who plays Charlotte, is standing next to. Um, remember, uh, did did you get to meet her at Live and Badass? I didn't. No. Okay. Okay. She, we we yeah, we we saw her before. Um, yeah, she she's awesome. Um, and then I think that's Chris behind Miguel. Right. I I, I can't. I feel like I feel like like some of these faces look familiar. The guy behind Phoebe was, I think, in Miyagi Fang before. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like the two guys in between Anthony and Sam, they look really familiar. I'm like, uh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't know, but uh, but behind Daniel, we got Bert, the legend, right. and then the legend, the legend, and then we got Nate. And then uh, Joe Suarez, who I, I interviewed on the on the channel. I actually, mm -hmm. you know, it was funny. I called I, I I called him when I saw this picture on the live stream, and he was like, like, and I was like talking to him on the live, and he was like, you know, saying that how like he was with um, AJ, who plays Edwin, and they were just like saying, oh yeah, it's so cool that this picture got released. So yeah, that was that was fun. Um, and then Chance, who's next to him, um, those were. Cobra Kai's Joe mm -hmm. and Chance were Cobra Kai's, and then uh, Sean Weston Thacker is next to Tori, and he was in Miyagi yes. Fang. So like, you got a bit of a combo now. No Kyler, no Kyler. Which everybody's like, I don't want to see Kyler. I'm like, dude, Kyler is the <laughs> best character on the show. He's so freaking <laughs> funny. He's so he is, funny, he's great. dude. I I want I want him to come here, and I want him to talk to chosen and be like yo fish sticks are dope and chosen's like <laughs> and i just puts him in his place like <laughs> <laughs> that's great uh, uh yeah so yeah so yeah it's like so we've got a mix we've got some some 
Cobra Kai uh, people here, which is great. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do you have any final thoughts on this image, Drew? Final thoughts. Um, I think I think we pretty much covered it all. Um, it's just I think it's a really cool shot to to put out. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I think there's a lot of stuff they could have probably posted, but I think this one kind of captures what this final season will be. Um, it, it's our heroes. You know, these are this is this is the hero's journey. This is, you know, this is like, <laughs> right. right? I mean, it's like, these are our heroes, like, taking on evil. And, you know, I mean, what what does Daniel say in season four? Like, many of us used to be enemies, but like now, like, we're working together. Like, so, or sometimes rivalries don't last forever. It's like, t like, you know, you got Sam Torrey, Robbie Miguel. It, it's time to let like these rivalries go and it's time to like, you know, everyone's in it for the right reasons. I think, you know, Daniel opened up Miyagi Do in season two to take down Cobra Kai kind of lost his way. Johnny was opening up Cobra Kai just to become a badass and whatever. And then Eagle Fang to what I, I don't know, but like, you know, now it's like, we want to teach kids to defend themselves. We care about these kids. And we also want to take down Cobra Kai because they're a bad influence, and it's just, it's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful to see. What, what, do you, what are your thoughts on on this as a as a whole? Um, everything you just said, I thought that was beautiful the way you put that. Oh, thank you. Um, and it really makes me very excited to see what's going to happen in season six. Um, I am I, Clifford here. Thank you for the super chat. He Clifford brings up. What if it's Daniel's lawyer explaining their options over the dojo and Silver's house fight? Of course, that's my question because there have to be legal repercussions. You just don't break into Terry Silver's house and uh, get away with it and just be <laughs> out of jail like this. So, no, uh, you know, all kidding aside, it really points to like everything coming together over over all the seasons. People were apart and rivalries and separate dojos, and now you're seeing everyone come together, and uh, it's very heartening to see that. And it makes me very curious who they're fighting against. Who's who's <laughs> going to be this this major evil that they're going to be teaming up against? Um, and I'm wondering if it will be a mixture of characters we know and some characters we don't know. For sure. And I mean, I got to say, like, I know this is also off topic, but like, like for someone who like didn't have a lot of money, like Johnny, I mean, he sure does have a very uh, wide variety of clothes. Like, <laughs> you know, it is it is funny yeah. how like every episode of a show, like they all have completely different outfits. They never wear the same thing twice. But I guess that's is that with everything, and it's just like we just don't notice or no. I don't know. Probably, yeah, probably they probably want to keep the variety up. Yeah, I guess it's probably just like with Cobra Kai, I just notice it more, just because like I don't like pay attention like that to other shows. But like, right. um, it is it is funny just looking at like their outfits and like each episode they have a totally different thing. It's like, damn, like we're like Johnny, where are you getting this money from? Cho where's Chosen getting this? Like, how's Chosen? Like, dude's not even working. Oh, oh, sorry. By the, by the way, I didn't mention this to you i'm honestly i gotta be honest wasn't 100 percent sure to see chosen here like i wasn't there right. was a part of me thinking okay he came in for season five he did his job and now they're gonna send him back to okinawa you know and and, and not because i didn't like chosen like i love chosen but i wasn't sure if they wanted to go back to the daniel johnny relationship and just kind of get it back there but they're they're going off season five and they're they got chosen back he's he's in it like the three of them which um i'm i'm happy about i, I was i was a little like i was surprised and i was not surprised were you at all when you when you saw chosen there well i mean he was very badly injured at the end of season five and so yeah he's there he looks like he's healed wound. up okay <laughs> yeah just a flesh wound yeah and he, he's recovered pretty well and um I, 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 I just have a feeling that season six, you are going to see like people ask is so-and-so going to be in season six. I would think in most cases, if it's a major character, even the smaller characters they introduced over the first five seasons, I bet they'll show up in some way. And so a character like chosen, like, 
I'm still half expecting the f- finale being a double wedding, at least between uh, Chosen and Kumiko and uh, <laughs> Donnie and Carmen. I don't know. So, you know, it's a, they, they've, they're going to wrap up all these uh, storylines. So um, I kind of expect, I was hoping, let's say, I was hoping to see Chosen uh, in season six. So, well, yeah. Drew, thank you so much for joining us today. Everyone watching, thank you so much for joining us today. We are going to be analyzing every little breadcrumb they throw out all the way to season six. It's a huge year, 2024, big year for Cobra Kai and Karate Kid. Uh, Drew, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me, Ken. It was it was a pleasure. Glad we got to do this. Yes, absolutely. I look forward to talking with you again in the, in the near future. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you all for joining. Thank you all. All right. We'll see you next time on KenCast, DrewTube, and Cobra Kai Kid. See you next time. Want to be part of the live KenCast show? Subscribe to the Ken Cole YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get alerts about every new show. Thanks for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you next time on KenCast.